There's a helicopter dropping something down there. There's a big wire attached to it. I just make random videos as I see random things. I don't know what they're doing. I hope he's a okay. We got power wires over here. I hope he doesn't hit anything over here. He's like dragging something. What he's doing. Oh my gosh. What has he got? What are they doing? Are they cutting back sores? Oh, they're cutting back trees down there. Wow, that's something new you don't see every day in the city. They're literally cutting down trees out there. Pine trees, I guess, that are real close to the power lines. Back it up. That's amazing. I don't see that in the city every day. That big thing he got in there coming up, that's a saw. I wish I could blow it up higher, but that's a saw. Ah! See that? That's a saw. They're cutting back trees by the power lines. Oh my God. God bless this helicopter rider. Bless him. Oh my good gosh. See what he's doing? He's cutting back all the tops of these trees. I guess that's what they were doing a couple weeks ago. They were doing land surveying on what needed to be cut back and forth. My husband thought they were dropping off cypress wood earlier. No, these are big swords. Cutting off the top parts of these trees. Wow. God bless the helicopter uh, driver that has to have this heavy thing towed in from underneath town. Along with, I would assume, the forestry people to know what trees got to be cut. And someone watching both sides so they're not on the power lines. I'd be scared. I'd be scared. What if that thing hits into the power line? It could kill us. As we're the only ones living out here. <laughs> On this block, literally. Now you can see the sword coming up. Where is he? On my camera. There he is. You see that, that piece there? That's a big sword. And he's cutting back trees. See, I can't tell you when we're going to be making videos only because random stuff just happens to come up. And now I heard this helicopter, but I come out to investigate what is going on. And this is what I come out to see. I mean, he's literally in town. I don't know where he's cutting with this tree line he must be up and down in the immediate area that shit don't sound healthy at all it really don't sound healthy that's why he came out to look and he's right now right there that's him I mean, I'm fascinated by it, but I'm also scared. Like, I want to go in the house because I feel safer inside the house. But, I mean, what if this thing loses control and falls into the ground with this big-ass saw going crazy by these power lines? I mean, he's nowhere near the tower, that's for sure.
but there is power lines that run through there for the town. I mean, he's like almost literally over 56 South right there. He's like right up on the barrens of Georgia Power. This is the first time I've ever seen nothing like this. And I'm from the city. I've never seen crap like this ever in my life. I'm trying to see where I could pick him up. Oh, there he is. Since he's only a little dot to you, but he's right there. That's him right there. I was in the process of getting ready to try to eat something as I haven't eaten anything in three days. And then this started to happen. And now I got to record it. Because I started recording. And I would wish all my subscribers, you can leave comments in the below. I will answer them back. Also, I would really appreciate if you would give me likes and subscribe to my channel. And if you find something interesting, you can always share it. That's how I get more viewers. And I'm just a nobody living out here in rural America. I lived in New York many my whole entire life. I moved to Florida, left Florida, landed up in Georgia after um, the hurricane. I have a cleaning service called Cable's Cleaning Service LLC, and I travel all over America in my fifth wheel. And I landed in this town called Midville, Georgia. And um, I really landed in Waynesboro. And my husband's from Midville, you know, and he brought me out here, and I just fell in love with this little town. I really love it. My kid can't stand it. He doesn't like it. But even if he was in the city, he'd still be sitting in the house. He just doesn't like it. He doesn't have friends out here, and I feel so bad for him. But maybe when he gets to high school, things will change for him a little bit. Okay, I think they're going bye-bye now. With a saw dragon in the front. Hanging down. No. No, they're across the street. I'm trying to see where is the, that tree line right there. It's just crazy how... No. He's on across the street off of 56 with this saw. Just chopping down the tree lines. That's go, the, the power lines that go across 56... But that, I'm on that power, and I lost power before. And I, I just pray to God that uh, nothing major goes on <laughs> with that helicopter and that saw hanging from it. I mean, he's still out there. I had to come out and look because hunters will do land survey over your, over your property and see where they can hunt for deers. And I know I have deers back there. I know I have deers. I've seen the bed of the ground is laid in a lot of places and no one's been back there. Only where the pigs are at. And I'm just so happy we're finally getting some greenery in here because the pigs have done a great job. This obviously here is our walkway. And I'm thinking, hopefully if I'm feeling, it all depends on how the hell I'm feeling. Um, I'm hoping this summer... I'm going to get the, the paver and the ready quick mix stuff and get it all out here first. And then use then get the walkway done. So by the time it rains next year, it doesn't create a mud pile back here. We got to make a barrier and have it trench it out to the street over there because out to our garden. But yeah, I just wanted to show this quick video to you guys. I just never seen nothing like that before in my life. And, you know, videos, I can't predict when I'm going to make a video because I'm trying to get out and about and cook my lunch for my family as we are self quarantine in, in our compound. Um, I told no one to come out to my house unless they call me first. And I'm trying to get these. Um, these bags up off of the banana trees and get them right because summer is here and spring is here and they they are ready they're ready to come out they're ready to get moving they're tired of being tied up in these bags and I'm gonna have to break it down and 
my pigs loved, I can tell you, they loved this. And I have to go out there in a little while. But this here, I just peel it back and I cut it down, just like a banana. And um, try to pull it down to where you could possibly see something green in there growing. If not, then I'll just cut it. Let's see. Yeah, that's the green thing right there. We have greenness. As long as we have greenness, that's all that matters. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <coughs> that was very weird. Well, I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, pull back some of this, um, these bags right now off of our banana tree and try to see what I can salvage from this winter. And it's been crazy. 80s, 40, 80, 20, 80, 13, 80, 45. It's like it goes to 80 degrees and then a couple days later it's down to like 22 degrees. So it's very abnormal. This year was very, very bad. But yeah, I'm going to have to go get my... A scissor and start getting these bags off of them finish eating my food and then have to try to see if I could get into town because I have to go make some payments and I hope everybody has a great day from Green Steel USA LLC here he comes back again ciao I hear him he's coming back As long as he stays away from my power line, I could care less.